Hi, you're here with Jeff Graham and Annette Griffiths from the Kitsap Sun. We're talking boys and girls basketball. We're introducing a power rankings uh, this season, so we're about three weeks into the end of the year, and uh, we're just kind of we've ranked our teams one through five, and um, you know it's that's going to change every week, you know. But uh, you know, just for the for the first few weeks, we've we've come up with the list. So we're going to start with girls basketball, and Annette, who do you got on your uh, on your power five here? Uh, the number one spot, I have Olympic. They are number one in the Olympic League. Uh, they're 2-0. and And uh, number two, I've got actually North Kitsap. They haven't played a lot of league games, but they played more non-conference, and they've, they've shown a lot, actually. Um, number three, Bremerton. Bremerton came up with a pretty, pretty good win against Port Angeles this week, 44-38. They took advantage of a, you know a couple absences for the Rough Riders, so good for the Knights. They need, they need to do that. Um, the number four spot, actually, I have Bainbridge. Uh, you know, they play in that tough metro, so any time that they can be close to 500 at this point is pretty good. Um, the number five, I have PA. You know, they're struggling a little bit, but I can see them coming on a little later in the season. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How about for the boys? For the boys, uh, North Kitsap debuts at number one. There are, you know, they were probably our top team coming back, and, you okay. know, they're, they're 4-0 right now. Um, have beaten some pretty you know, good opponents to start the year. And Kingston is number two. They're also 4-0. I'm really looking forward to, to that matchup. Uh, they're going to play uh, in 2017 uh, to kick off kind of the, the new year. That's a matchup I'm looking forward to. Um, as far as the third team, uh, Central Kitsap comes in at number three. They're three and three. Had a little bit of, a, of an odd start. You know, they've mm -hmm. lost to a couple of the, the two A teams. Had a really nice uh, road win against Big Harbor uh, last week, which you know, that's a good pickup. Yeah, you know, that's a good league win for them. You know, mm -hmm. anytime you could win a road game, you mm -hmm. know, that's great for them. Olympic is, uh, is is number four. They're four and three. They've had some issues with get, getting off to slow starts. Um, you know, they've, they've fallen behind, you know, big. They had a nice, you know, really nice comeback win against Squim, uh, you know, last week. You know, they were down by almost 20 points at half, came back and, you know, got a nice win. So Trojans are, you know, I think still finding their way um, a little bit. So they're number four. And number five is Crosspoint. They're three and one. They have one league win and, you know, they're getting off to a nice start. Jackson Kimmel and uh, Jared Cattell, they're two really? leading scorers. Um, you know, anytime you have two guys that are, that are averaging you know 15 points or more is is, is nice. So uh, so those are our teams you know through uh, through this first uh, first stretch of the season. So um, we're going to go into Friday night you know kind of seeing how things shake out and we'll see uh, we'll see what happens uh, on Friday. So and it's early uh, Olympic and Bremerton meet. That's sort of my big game of the week. Uh, Knights versus Trojans and uh, Bremerton will travel to Olympic on Friday night. So. Get out there and watch that game. It should be a good one. Yeah, and on the boys' side, Central Kids up and Olympic play on uh, next Tuesday. So that's a kind of a battle for Silverdale. Non-leader, but uh, always a good matchup for those guys. So, so thanks for tuning in.